One. Hey guys, I'm behind the scenes right now. Here I go, crossing the camera. Hey. You know, we're practicing social distancing, so there's only three of us here right now. I have to start my own camera. Welcome, you guys. I'm Lacey from Bikram Yoga Columbia. I have Jen and Tony here. They're going to show off their fancy moves for you guys. I'm going to teach a Bikram Yoga 45-minute class. The series is normally 90 minutes, and some people practice it for 60 minutes, but we're going to give you different time length options um, so that when you don't have as much time, you, you still have an option to work out. So let's get started. We're going to start with a breathing exercise called Pranayama Deep Breathing, good for the lungs and respiratory system. You're going to inhale by your nose, exhale by your mouth all the time using your throat. Breathe as long as possible, as much as possible, as slow as possible. Feet together, toes and heels touching. Ten fingers are interlocked underneath your chin. Keep your hands underneath your chin like glue throughout the posture. Relax your shoulders. Suck your stomach in. Lock your knees. Focus on yourself. And begin. Inhale, arms up. Bring your elbows up as high as possible. Suck your stomach in. Tighten it up. Exhale, head back. Look back behind you. The elbows come forward slowly. Wrist touch. Elbows touch away from your chest. Inhale, arms up. Knees are locked. Shoulders remain over the hips. Thighs tight. Glutes tight. Arms all the way up with your ears. Exhale, head back. Mouth open. Eyes open. Making a ha sound. Trying to empty your lungs. When you bring your elbows together, shoulders relax. Inhale. At least six counts. The slower you go, the better. Fill your lungs more and more. Exhale, head back. Mouth open, eyes open, making that ha sound, pushing the air out, keeping the stomach in, elbows touch. Let's do two more. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, last one, deepest breath yet. Inhale more than you have the other sets. Inhale, inhale, exhale, head back. Empty the lungs completely. You're trying to push all of the air out. We're ready for the class now, elbows together. All right, that's enough, arms down side. So a couple times, roll your shoulders if you want to. The first asana is half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Feet together, toes and heels touching, arms over your head sideways. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed, hands, palms, touching each other like glue. Up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. You're going to stretch up, touch the ceiling, and bend your body right and left several times. Right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides of your body all the way up towards the fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Elbows are locked. Arms are always touching with your ears. No gap between your biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit towards the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body leaning back a couple of inches, opening up your chest and rib cage throughout the posture. Maximum body weight on the heels. Chin up, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing. Stretch up out of the waist. Touch the ceiling. Bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows or your knees, push your hips to the left. You feel a tremendous stretching feeling down the left side of your body, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips all the way down to your toes, hips forward towards the mirror, upper body back, keep your weight in the heels. Left hip comes forward, so two hips are in one line, scoop the right shoulder forward, open up your chest, stomach in, go down, push, 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 inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle, backward bending. Wait, do we just do right? Mm, just kidding. We're going to do left side. Inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Bend your body to the left. Without bending your elbows or your knees, push your hips way to the right. Feel that tremendous stretching feeling down right side. Stomach is tight. Knees are locked. Hips forward towards the mirror, upper body back. Keep the weight in the heels. Right hip comes forward, so two hips are in one line. Scoop the left shoulder forward, open up your chest, stomach in, go down, push, push, 
push. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Stop in the middle. Now backward bending. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. One of my favorites. Trying to get to you there fast. Okay, you're going to keep your palms together. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Bring them back with your ears. Push your hips forward, then arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. More back. Yes, inhale, breathe, and come up. Good job. Stop in the middle. Padahastasana, bend your knees and put your hands on the floor in front of you. Going to move your hips right and left several times. Right and left. Drop your head down. Shake it around. This is a U-turn from back bend to forward bending, so please be careful. Your spine its not all the way warmed up yet. All right, Padahastasana, feet stay together, bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side and elbows are behind the legs on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Please don't lose the grip, pull. Pull on your heels and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Good, try to keep the stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Exhale, breathing. Lock your knees. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Try to touch your face to your legs. Lock your knees. Last chance. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Lock the knees. Inhale, breathing in. Come up. Arms and head together. Core tight all the way up. And exhale your arms down. Just breathe. Shoulders relax. Try to keep your mouth closed. Breathe through the nose. We're going to do that one again. Second set. Feet together. Arms over your head. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Thumbs cross. Squeeze the palms super tight. No gap between your palms. Try to get the wrists touching. Arms are straight. Actively squeezing the biceps with the ears. The whole posture. Stomach in. Glutes tight. Legs tight. Inhale. Stretch up. Touch the ceiling. Bend your body to the right. Try not to elbows or knees. Push your hips way to the left. So if you're looking at yourself in the front mirror, left foot is planting, and you're trying to push your hips beyond that left foot so you can feel the tremendous stretching feeling left side body. Stomach is tight, knees locked. Hips forward towards the mirror, upper body back. Bring the left hip forward. Two hips are in one line. Scoop the right shoulder forward. Open up your chest, stomach in. Go down, push. Push, push, inhale, breathe and come up. Stop in the middle, squeeze your palms, arms are straight, stomach in, inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling, bend your body to the left. Keeping the elbows locked, push your hips way to the right. Right foot is planting, planted, push the right hip beyond the right foot, feeling the tremendous stretching right side, keeping the core tight. Think stomach in below the belly button, actively squeezing there the whole time. Bring the right hip forward, so two hips are in one line. You scoop the left shoulder forward, stomach in. Go down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Stop in the middle. All right, here we go. Backward bending. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Squeeze the palms, straighten the arms. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Bring them back with your ears. Again, arms straight. Stretch them up towards the ceiling. Bring them back with your ears, lifting out of the waist, and then you squeeze your butt. Legs tight, weight in the heels, push your hips forward, going for the deep backward bend, arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come up. Good job, stop in the middle. Padhastasana, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips right and left, drop your head down, shake it around. You're a little bit more warmed up than the first set. So we won't stay here as long. All right, Padahastasana. Keep your feet together. Bend your knees. Scoop up your heels. Fingertips facing the same way as your toes and elbows all the way behind the legs on the calf muscles. Try not to lose the grip. Pull. Pull on your heels. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. You try to touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. Continuously keep pulling. 
Pulling is the object of stretching. You're keeping your stomach on your thighs, actively pulling your elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your neck and shoulders. Roll forward, weight on the toes. One day you will lock your knees. Inhale, breathe in. Come up. That's beautiful, you guys. Arms and head together. Core tight all the way up. Exhale your arms down. Just breathe. Shoulders relaxed. Here we go. Awkward pose. Just one set. Right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind the toes. Feet look like a perfect letter H. Try not to change your feet throughout the posture, then arms up, parallel to the floor. Elbows locked, triceps super tight. Stretch your fingertips forward, exhale breathing, suck your stomach in and sit down. Hips touch the chair. Feet flat, 100% weight on your heels, and then you lift your chest up. Bend your total spine, backward bending, upper body leaning back. Suck your stomach in, suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Rib cage is visible in the mirror. Open up your knees. Keep six inches apart between your knees, feet, and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Good control. Keep your arms there. Engage the triceps. Go up on your toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head towards the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes leaning against the wall start to finish hips and head touching the wall sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair knees up chest up upper body leaning back spine straight go up higher on your toes knees up higher towards the ceiling don't go down below the chair you're sitting in the chair inhale breathe in come up keep your arms there third part engage the triceps go up just a little bit on your toes you're going to squeeze your knees together stomach in and sit down slow as slow as you can all the way down. If the knees start to bother you, you don't have to go all the way. If you can go all the way, you have a half inch gap between your hips and heels. You're squeezing your knees together, pressing them down forward towards the floor. If you had a ball on your lap, it would roll off because you're actively squeezing your knees together, pushing them down forward towards the floor. Squeeze your knees together. Keep your core engaged, spine straight. Go up slow, squeezing your knees together, keeping the stomach in. Right foot back to the place, arms down side. All right, here we go, eagle pose. You're gonna bring your arms over your head sideways. Right arm underneath the left, cross twist, hands together, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down, fingertips go below the nose, stomach in, sit down, low chair. Lean your upper body back, stay there, lift the right leg as high as possible, twist like rope. One day, foot goes underneath the calf muscle. Sit down more, twist like ropes, and lean your upper body back. If you can't hook that foot, that's okay. You're going to squeeze your thighs together super tight. Knees to the right, upper body to the left, because you're trying to get everything in one line. Feet, knees, elbows, hands. Suck your stomach in. Pull your elbows down. Lean the upper body back. Change. Feet together. Arms over the head. Other side. Left arm. Underneath the right cross twist. Pull your elbows down. You feel that stretch in your shoulders. Suck your stomach in and sit down, super low chair. Lean your upper body back, stay there. Lift the left leg as high as possible, twist like ropes, foot underneath the calf. If you can't hook it, it's okay, you're squeezing your thighs together. If you have a mirror, you're looking at it, trying to get everything in one line. Bring knees left, upper body right, everything in one line, feet, knees, elbows, hands, suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down, lean your upper body back. Change feet together, arms over your head, arms down side. Party time. You can have water if you want. All right, so this is the only time in class I'll tell you to take water, but feel free to have it whenever you want. Balancing series, we ready? All right, let's see how we're doing on time. Hmm. I'll decide if we're going to do two sets or one. I'm not sure yet. Feet together. You're in the center of your mat. Standing head to knee. Dhanda Yamana Jhana Shara Sharasana. Shift weight to your left leg. Lock your knee. Wipe your hands. Round your back. Grab the right foot. A couple inches below the toes. Ten fingers interlocked. You're looking in the front mirror, if you have one. 
making sure the standing leg is locked. That's the most important part. So if you don't have a mirror, you can feel if your leg is bending or wobbling. You want to work to contract the quadricep a lot. Standing leg is locked, solid concrete. Then inhale, right leg lift up. Your leg is parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Standing leg is locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your right leg. Heel forward towards the mirror. You're flexing your foot. Good, good. So all five toes are turning in towards your face. If both knees are locked and you have a cramp on both thighs, then you can pull your elbows down. Eventually, elbows go below the calf muscle. Change. Good job. So this is a progression posture. You want to make sure you get the first step before you move to the second, second before you get to the third, and so on like that. You don't have to feel like any less of a person if you can't do the whole thing because it's hard and it takes time. Shift weight to your right leg. Lock your knee. Most important part, just locking your knee. If you just started, try that. It's hard enough. Wipe your hands around your back. Grab the left foot. Couple inches below the toes. Ten fingers interlocked. If you don't have a mirror and you can't look at your knee in the front mirror, then just feel it. If it's bending or wobbling, you want to work to straighten out the leg, contract the quadricep. Standing leg is locked. Inhale, breathing. Left leg lift up. Your leg is parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg is locked. So if you're in this part, you want your legs to look like a 90 degree angle L from the side. Kick your heel out, turn your toes and flex your foot. Straighten out both legs. If your knees are locked, then you can pull your elbows down. Eventually, elbows go below, good job, Jen, the calf muscle. Change, but do you see how Tony was balancing on the lock the end? That's great. You don't have to do all of the things. Balancing on the lock knee is the first and most important part. If you'd like, hands in the small of your back. Do a little back bend if you'd like. Feels good. You don't have to do it, though, if you don't want to. Let's go to standing bow pulling pose. I know you're happy about that. Dandiyamana Dhanurasana. Bring the right hand out. Drop it down. Don't flip the wrist. Grab the right foot from the inside. Five fingers are together. Left arm up. Arm is close with your ear. Bring your knees together to start. If you have a mirror, you're looking at yourself. If you don't, you really want to feel that standing leg. Make sure you're balancing before you go any further. Inhale, kick up, kick back. Kick up, kick back. Eventually, body comes down. Abdomen and chest is parallel to the floor. Hips popping feels good. Stretch your fingertips forward. Try to touch the mirror. Eventually, chin lands on top of that shoulder. Relax the right shoulder. So right shoulder is invisible behind the left. Two shoulder blades in one line. Looking good. If you have a front mirror, you're looking at yourself. You want to make sure the foot is directly over your head. Continuously keep kicking. Kicking and stretching are equal in simultaneous 50-50 body down. Kick up. Kick back. Good job. Kick up one more time. Change. Awesome, you guys. All right, let's do other side. It's going to be the last one. Make it a good one. Bring the left hand out. Drop it down. Grab your left foot from the inside. Try to keep the five fingers together. So thumb is staying touching with the index finger. Right arm up. Arm close with your ear. Bring your knees together. Look at yourself. Inhale, kick up, kick back. Yes, you're keeping the chin to shoulder connection. Keeping the standing leg locked. Body comes down. Abdomen and chest parallel to the floor. Great job, you guys. Stretch your fingertips forward. Chin lands on top of your shoulder. Now relax your left shoulder so you can kick your foot higher over your head. Yes, Jen. Foot is in two feet are in one line from the side. Continuously keep kicking. Kicking and stretching are equal and simultaneous. 50-50. Body down. Kick up. Yes. Give it all you got. Kick up one more time. Change. That's awesome. Good job, guys. All right, let's go to the back of your mat for a balancing stick, Tula Dandasana. Feet are together. Arms over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. So these are the same arms as half moon arms. See, the wrists are touching, the palms are touching, biceps are with the ears, and they're going to stay with the ears even when you're down in the T position. Chin up, body back, inhale, breathing, right foot step forward, a big step, lock both knees, come down, hinging from the waist. Body is a super, super tight T. 
all the muscles are contracted. Biceps are staying with the ears. Palms are together. You're stretching your palms forward, stretching your toes back. Body is down, stomach is in, body stretching opposite directions. Change, good. Keep your arms and head together. Other side, chin up, body back, left foot step forward, big step. Lock both knees, come down, hinging from the waist. Eventually, body super, super tight, T. Biceps with the ears, palms are together. You're stretching your palms forward, stretching your toes back a little bit, right hip down, stomach in. Yes, body stretching opposite directions. Change, feet together, arms and head together. Arms down side. Relax, just breathe. All right. Let's go to the top of your mat, you guys. You can turn sideways on your mat if you're at home, or you can step to the side of your mat. This is standing separate leg stretching, so go up here to the front, babe. Babe, he's my husband. Okay. <laughs> I was just explaining why I'm calling you that. Standing separate leg stretching, we're going to do it twice. Feet together, arms over your head. Right foot step to the right, big step. Four feet minimum, same time, arms down. So if you have any sciatic problems, your feet are going to stay parallel. If you don't have any problems, you're going to pitch and toe your feet. Toes in, heels out, lock your knees, suck your stomach in, and stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Spine is straight and knees are locked all the way down. When you're down there, you can grab your heels from behind, five fingers together, thumbs touching with the index fingers. If you can't do that, then you can grab the outsides of your feet like Tony's doing. If you can't do that, you can put your hands on the floor in front of you. Wherever you are, most important part of this posture is to lock your knees. That means no bent legs, no bend behind the knee. You're working to contract your quadricep, roll forward like a wheel weight on the toes, knees are locked. First leg stretching, then hip stretching. Eventually, whole body stretching, top to bottom, 360 degree angle stretching. Pull on your heels, roll forward, try to touch your forehead. Change, slowly go up, head has been below the heart, so you want to go slow so you don't get dizzy. Right foot back to the place, arms over your head, arms down side. Let's do second set, feet together, arms over your head. Right foot step to the right, big step. Arms down, pigeon toe your feet. Lock your knees, suck your stomach in, stretch your body forward. Spine straight, knees locked. When you're down there, grab your heels from behind. If you can't, you can grab the outsides of the feet or put your hands on the floor in front of you. Most important part, straighten out those legs, lock the knees. Contract the quadriceps, roll forward like a wheel. You feel the tremendous stretch down the back sides of your legs. If your knees are locked, then we'll work on touching your head to the floor by bending your elbows, using your bicep strength to bring the forearms back closer to the calves. You're lengthening the spine. Imagine, imagine you're getting the round out of your upper back, pushing your chest, your chin more forward towards the floor to eventually touch your forehead perfectly in between your feet. Change, good, Jen. Go up slow. Right foot back to the place, arms over your head, arms down, side. Breathe. Shoulders relax, mouth closed, breathe through the nose. We're already at the heart of the series, triangle pose, trikonasana. We're going to do it twice. Feet together, arms over your head. Right foot step to the right, a big step. Four feet minimum, same time, arms down, hips forward, upper body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Bend your knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times. Your right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Hips stay down. Don't let them come up anymore. And then move your arms until your elbow is in front of the knee. Look up towards the ceiling. Try to touch your chin to your shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Good. Left arm stretches up. Right arm stretches down. Arms are stretching in opposite directions. Left hip is down and forward. Push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Twist your upper body back. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Change, beautiful, right foot in. Hips forward, upper body back. Turn your left foot out all, all the way. Bend your knee and sit down. Bounce, left thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Hips stay down. Don't let them come up anymore and move your arms until elbow is in front of the knee. Look up towards the ceiling. Try to touch your chin to your shoulder. Right arm stretches up. Left arm stretches down. Arms are stretching in opposite directions. Your right hip is down and forward. You're pushing your left knee back with the help of your left elbow. Twist your upper body back. Right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor. 
change. Good triangles. Left foot in. Right foot back to the place. Arms over your head. Arms down side. Take a breath. Shoulders are relaxed. Mouth closed. Breathe through the nose. Let's go second set. Feet together. Arms over your head. Right foot step to the right. Really big step. Four feet minimum. Same time. Arms down. Hips forward. Upper body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Bend your knee and sit down. Bounce. You try to make a 90 degree angle with your right thigh bicep. That means knee is over your ankle. If your knee goes beyond your ankle, you're trying to open your legs more, plant all corners of your feet, and move your arms until elbow is in front of the knee. Look up towards the ceiling. You try to touch your chin to your shoulder. Left arm stretch way up. Right arm stretch down. Arms are stretching in opposite directions. Left hip is down and forward. Push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Twist your upper body back. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Change, right foot in. Hips forward, upper body back. Turn your left foot out all the way. Bend your knee and sit down. Bounce. Let's make that 90 degree angle. Make the knee over your ankle. Plant all corners of your feet. If you feel like you're slipping, you can squeeze an imaginary ball between your legs. It'll help you stay there. Move your arms. Elbow is in front of the knee. Look up towards the ceiling. Try to touch your chin to your shoulder. Right arm stretch way up. Left arm stretches down. Arms are stretching in opposite directions. Rotate the right hip down and forward. Push your left knee back. Help of your left elbow. Twist your upper body back. Change. Left foot in. Right foot back to the place. Arms over your head. Arms down side. These guys both have really good triangles, so if you're looking at this video and you say, oh, I cannot do that in any way, it's okay. As long as you're trying the right way in the words that I'm explaining, you're doing it right. All right, standing separate like head to knee. Feet together, arms over your head, palms together, only your thumbs cross. Right foot step to the right. Three feet distance, 36 inches. Pivot all the way to the right. So you're facing the right side of your mat and turn your hips quick five times. You're bringing your left hip forward. You want your hip bones parallel. Backside foot, 45 degree angle. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and touch your head to your knee. Throat choke, stomach in all the way down. If when you're down there, your knee and your head do not touch, then you can bend the knee and separate your hands. Put them on the floor to get the knee and forehead to touch. That's the most important part. This is a compression posture. So maximum body weight to the front leg. Right hip is up, left hip is down. And one day, the two hips are in one line parallel. Stretch your palms forward beyond your feet. Lock your knees. And slowly round up, thinking left hip forward, stomach in. Left hip forward, stomach in. Pivot all the way to the left side of your mat. Turn your hips quick five times. You're bumping that right hip forward. You want your hip bones parallel. Back side foot, 45 degree angle. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest. Touch your head to your knee. If knee and head don't touch when you get down there, you can bend the knee and separate the hands. You can push your palms on the floor. Head is touching the knee. If your head easily touches the knee, try to get it even higher there above the knee to create more compression. Throat is choked. Stomach is in. Stretch your palms forward beyond your feet. Lock your knees. And slowly round up, keeping the right hip forward, stomach in. Right hip forward, stomach in. Pivot facing the front of your mat. Right foot back to the place, arms down side. All right, let's go to the center of your mat where you started for tree pose Tadasana. Right leg lift up. Grab from underneath with your left hand. You're going to bring it all the way until your heel touches the costume. Sole the foot faces the ceiling. Careful of your right knee. Slowly, gently push your right knee down and back. Try to get your two knees in one line from the side. Spine straight. Stomach in. Right hand to the center of your chest. If you can balance there, foot doesn't slip, left hand, center of your chest, spine is straight, stomach is in, standing leg is locked. Good, change, right leg down, arms down, other side, left leg lift up, grab from underneath with your right hand, bring it up all the way, until your heel touches the costume, sole of the foot face is the ceiling. Careful of the left knee, slowly, gently push the left knee down and back. Maybe two knees in one line from the side one day. Tuck your tail. Don't let your butt stick out. Left hand center of your chest. If you can balance there, right hand center of your chest. 
but bringing the palms together, not so important. Balancing is more important. Keeping the foot in place, stretch your spine towards the ceiling, stomach in. Change, left leg down, arms down. All right, next we're going to move to toe stand. It is a beginner posture, so if your knees feel good today, you can try it. But if they don't feel so hot, you could do tree pose, the posture they just did. I'll walk you through toe stand with my voice. Right leg lift up, bring onto the middle of your thigh or higher. I like to bring mine a little higher. Now you can start this posture by simply changing the gaze to the floor four feet in front of you. Hands together in front of your chest, or you can keep holding that foot, hinging from the waist, bend your body down. When your hands touch the floor, then you can come up on the ball of your foot, bend your knee and sit down on top of your heel. Bringing your hands to both sides, balancing on your fingertips. Two knees on one line from the side. If you're down there, you're gonna drop your right knee down and point your right toes. Try to keep your spine straight. So shoulders are over the hips, stomach in, left hand center of your chest. If you can balance there, right hand center of your chest. Stretch your spine towards the ceiling, come up off the heel and lift the gaze. Change hands on the floor. Go back up, exact opposite way you went down. Go back to tree pose. And tree pose, release. All right, other side. Last thing before our Savasana, left leg lift up, bring onto the middle of your thigh or higher. You can start this posture by, by just changing your gaze to the floor, four feet in front of you. Hands together in front of your chest, hinging from the waist, bend your body down. When your hands touch the floor, then bend your knee and sit down on top of your heel. Bringing your hands to both sides, balancing on your fingertips. Shoulders over the hips, stomach in, left hand center of your chest. If you can balance there, right hand center of your chest, stretch your spine towards the ceiling, come up off the heel and lift the gaze. Change hands on the floor. Go back up exact opposite way you went down, come back to tree pose. Tree pose, release. All right, if you'd like, you can acknowledge your hard work, then turn around, relax on your back in Savasana. So that last posture, toe stand. It's also a progression posture. A lot of our postures are progression postures. You want to make sure you get one step before you move to the second step, second step before you move to the third. So don't, don't force at all. You especially don't want to jam your knee into any weird position that doesn't feel good. So here we go. Our Savasana heels together, toes fall open, arms by your side, palms face up, head straight, eyes open, breathing always normal, just relax. Dead body pose. Savasana. All right, we're going to start the floor series with wind removing pose, Pavana Muktasana, right leg lift up. Grab a couple of inches below the knee, 10 fingers interlock, pull the right knee down, out, avoid the rib cage, back in towards your shoulder. Left leg is straight and flat on the floor. If it's not, flex your left foot so your calf muscle stays touching the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest, neck and back, flat on the floor, pull down hard. Feel a pinch in your hip joint, maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, freeze there. Change, right leg down, arms down, left leg lift up, grab a couple of inches below the knee, 10 fingers interlock, pull the left knee down, out, avoid the rib cage, back in towards your shoulder. Right leg is straight and flat on the floor, if it's not flex that right foot so your calf muscle is touching the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, neck and back, flat on the floor, pull down hard, feel a pinch in your hip joint, maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, freeze there. Change, left leg down, arms down, both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other over the legs, a couple of inches below the knees, nice and tight, compact. So first you're going to grab your elbows. If you can't do that, then you can grab your forearms or your wrist or whatever you can grab. But head is on the floor and you try to keep your hips on the floor. So you're pushing your hips into the floor, eyes looking down toward your chest. You try to push the back of your neck closer to the floor. So eventually you're in the future, that's a really good Tony, your entire spine will be flat on the floor from the top of your head to the end of your tail. Freeze there. Change, legs down, arms down, 
relax. Savasana. All right, we're going to do the first sit up in the class. If you need to avoid the sit ups for any reason, you can do so by rolling over to the side. If you want to join us to go like this, feet together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the ground throughout the sit up. Arms over your head, thumbs crossed, palms facing the ceiling, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly. Sit up, touch your head to your knees, grab your toes, double jerk, elbows on the floor. Turn around and lay down on your stomach for the spine strengthening series. We begin with Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Chin is out, neck is flat on the floor. Get your hand palms very close to your chest, underneath your shoulders, five fingers together, flat on the floor. Hip and leg muscles, solid concrete. You have only one leg, like a cobra tail. You cannot open it or lift it off the floor. Arms in close to your body. Inhale, breathing. Look up and go up. Using your 100% back strength until only your belly button is touching the floor. Drop your shoulders down. Drop your elbows down towards your hips. Trapezius muscles visible in the front mirror. From the side, your arms look like an L, like a rectangle. Chest up. Go up. More up. Change. Lower down. Beautiful, Jen. Chin on the mat first, then look to the right, left ear on the mat, toes together, heels fall open, arms by your side, palms face up. So just relax. We're going to do one of each posture in the spine strengthening series since this is a little bit of a shortened time frame. Then let's go to locust pose. Salabhasana, arms underneath your body, invisible under your stomach. So your arms are straight. You're sliding them underneath your body. Palms facing the floor. Pinky fingers touch. Spread your five fingers apart, grabbing your fingertips. If your arms are bending when you're doing this, I would rather you put your arms outside of your body and keep them straight than put bend them and put them underneath your body because it's just not going to feel good. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Left leg relax. Right leg solid concrete. Lift the right leg up. Lock your knee. Point your toes. Straighten out your leg. Engage that glute. Stretch your toes towards the back wall. Lift your leg up. Change. Lower down. Right leg relax. Left leg lock. Solid concrete. Lift the left leg up. Lock your knee. Point your toes. Straighten out your leg. Engage your glute. Stretch your toes towards the back wall. Lift your leg up. Change. Lower down. Now mouth on the floor. Readjust your hands, palms. Try to get your elbows even closer underneath your body. Mouth is on the floor. Shift weight to your shoulders without bending your knees. Both legs lift up. Legs together. Feet together. Knees are locked. Pointed toes. Push your palms into the floor. Shift more weight to your shoulders. Go up. Struggle a little bit harder. Don't give up. Go up. Change. Looking good, Tony. So chin, on, chin out. Look to the right. Let your arms out. I mean, look to the left. I'm sorry. This is a weird view the way I'm looking at them. It's not like a normal class situation. So you just want to make sure you switch sides both each time. So if you looked right one time, then you want to look left. So you keep an even stretch on your neck. I also don't think I had enough caffeine today. I'm going to fix that after this class. All right. Full locus. Porna Salavasana. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms facing down. Hip and leg muscles solid concrete. They're best friends. Zip up your feet. Inhale, breathing. Look up and go up. Arms, body, head, chest. Everything lifting up. 747 taking off. Chest up. Chest up. Arms up. Up, arms back, fingertips in line with the tops of your head. Only your hip bones are touching the floor. Exhale, breathing, go up as high as you can. Change, lower down. Now chin on the mat. Look to the right, arms by your side. Relax. We have one more posture in the spine strengthening series. It's going to put all these postures together and strengthen your entire spine at one time. Here we go. Bow pose. Dhanurasana. Chin out, neck flat on the floor. 
Hold your feet from the outside, a couple of inches below the toes. Five fingers together, thumbs are touching with the index fingers. Wrist are straight, point your toes. Everyone bring your knees a little closer if you can because when you are in the posture, they tend to flail out. All right, relax that grip. Inhale, breathing, kick up, kick back. Arms are straight, look up, kick up. Look up, kick up. Roll forward like a wheel. You try to roll on your rib cage. Bring your knees in, relax the grip. Look up, kick up. Try to see the feet coming over your head. It's good, Jade. Kick up one more time. Change, lower down, chin on the mat. Look to the left, right here on the mat. Relax. Savasana. All right, look. put your palms on the mat. You can push your body up. Go to the top of the mat for fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana. So you're gonna stand up on your knees, you're gonna open up your feet, try to sit between your feet. If your knees, hips, ankles, anything hurts, you can open up your knees a lot to relieve any pain or pressure. If you have no pain and your butt is all the way on the floor, then you can put your hands on your feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside, right elbow down, touch the floor, left elbow down, touch the floor, top of your head on the floor, shoulders on the floor, whole upper body relaxed on the floor. When you're all the way down there, grab your elbows over your head, Lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling, creating a perfect human bridge. Eventually, you can bring your knees together, but make sure they don't come off the floor. Change slowly. Hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Push up one at a time. Then you're going to turn around. Relax in your savasana. They are also able to get into that posture really well. Takes a lot of time, sometimes many years to get into that posture. So don't feel discouraged if you just need to stand up on your knees and put your palms into the floor. No big deal. All right, here we go. Sit up, feet together. Flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs cross quickly. Sit up. Sit in the middle of your mat or towards the back of your mat. Japanese style for half tortoise. Whatever's your preference. Arms over your head. Palms together, only your thumbs cross this time. Stretch your palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, go down. You try to touch your forehead to the floor first. And then your little fingers on the floor. The rest of your arms are in the air. You're going to stretch your palms forward. So shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. Chin is away from your chest. I don't know if you hurt your shoulder or something. I didn't know. Stretch your palms forward and hips back. So your body is lengthening here. You feel a stretch in your shoulders. You might feel a stretch underneath those armpits. Chin is out. Try to get the bridge of the nose on the floor. Actively stretching your body in opposite direction. Hips and heels touching. Arms and head together. Core tight. Change. Slowly go up. Hips and heels together. Arms and head together. Arms down side. Relax. Jen just gave you a sneak peek of her, of her rabbit modification. So we'll do that later. If you do need to modify and have tortoise toe, sometimes people, their knees hurt, so you can't sit on your, your legs like that. You could always start up like this if your knees hurt, or you could put something underneath your knees, like roll up a towel or put a cushion there or something. All right, feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs cross, quickly sit up. All right, now we're going to go to camel. Go to the top of your mat, get two chances here, stand up on your knees. You have six inches apart between your knees, inside the legs and feet. Hands are on your hips, thumbs outside, fingers facing the floor. It's not kind of like your hands are in your back pockets. You're going to bring your elbows close together behind your back. Push your hips forward. Drop your head back. You can stay here with your hands on your hips. If you feel like you can go further, then right hand down, grab the right heel. Left hand down, grab the left heel. Thumb outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palms grip wherever you are. You're going to lift your hips, push them forward. Lift your chest, head is all the way back, eyes are open. Change slowly, one hand on your hips at a time, chest up, spine straight at the end. Then you turn around, relax. Oop, I'm running late. Savasana. Just kidding, we're only going to do one of those. But if you're at home and you want to do more, go for it. Back bends are so good for you, and normally you're forward bending most of your life, so... Go ahead, back bend, back bend, back bend. Here we go, feet together. Flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs cross. Quickly sit up. Turn and sit the, at the back of your mat, Japanese style. 
for rabbit pose, Sasangasana. Jen's going to show you a modification because she has a little neck injury. So if you need to modify for any reason, you can watch what Jen is doing. If not, watch Tony. Put the towel over your feet if you have a towel. If not, just grab your feet, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Tuck your chin to your chest. Exhale, breathing. Go down. Head touches the knees. Automatically top of your head touches the floor. Then exhale, breathing. Lift your hips up all the way towards the ceiling. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms, elbows are straight. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you're going to walk your knees towards your head. Lift your hips up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Don't let your feet come off the ground. Really push your knees and feet into the ground. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Suck your stomach in. Hips up more. Change. Slowly round out. One vertebrae at a time. Turn around. Relax. Savasana. So we have two postures and one breathing exercise, and then we will have completed the Bikram series. Here we go. Feet together. Flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Quickly sit up. Face the front of your mat for separate leg head to knee with stretching pose. Your right leg is out cornerwise. Bend your left leg. Create pressure with the left foot sole against the right thigh bicep. Arms over your head. Turn to the right and grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toes. Tuck your chin to your chest and touch your head to your knee. If the knee and head do not touch, then you can bend the knee to try and get the knee and forehead to touch. Pull your elbows down and in. Left elbow down, left shoulder down. Roll inside to the left. Push your knee down with the help of your forehead. Change. Switch those legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Arms over the head, turn to the left, grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toes, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your head to your knee. If knee and head do not touch, then bend the knee. Try to get that knee and forehead to touch, pull your elbows down and in, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll inside to the right, push your knee down with the help of your forehead. Change both legs forward together, lay down on your back, as soon as you touch, you're going to sit up. And grab your big toes from the top with your middle and index finger. And walk your hips back right and left 10 to 15 times until your knees lock. Pull on your toes. Feet are flat. Pinky toes are back. Spine straight. Chin forward. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. One day stomach on the thighs and elbows on the floor outside the calf. You're lengthening that spine, feeling a good stretch underneath your legs. If you cannot grab your feet, that's okay. You're still bending forward, feeling that good stretch underneath your legs. If you have your toes, you're lengthening that spine, chest forward, chin forward, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, we're going to go straight into the sec the neck, bleh, bleh, the left posture, spine twisting. So left leg out straight if you have tight hips or left knee in. And right heel over the knee corner. Heel t she keeps her leg out. Heel touches the knee corner, foot flat on the floor. What, if you have tight hips, you're going to keep your left leg out straight. And if you don't have tight hips, you're going to put your left knee on the floor. They both have tight hips. So I'll demonstrate the normal one. Right heel over the knee corner. And then left arm up and over your knee. Push your knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn your wrist. Try to grab your knee with your hand. Right arm on your back, palm facing out, spine straight, rib cage open, turn all the way right side. Look over your right shoulder. Each and every vertebrae and cartilage are twisting like a pearl necklace. Twist, twist, twist. All right, switch out the legs. So right leg out straight or bend your right knee. Left heel over the knee corner, either way. Right arm up and over your knee. Push your knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn your wrist. Try to grab your knee with your hand. Left arm on your back, palm is facing out, spine straight, rib cage open, turn all the way left side. Look over your left shoulder. Each and every vertebrae and cartilage are twisting like a pearl necklace. Twist, twist, twist. All right, change and relax for Savasana. It's one of my favorites. Nice to end the class that way. All right, here we go. Feet together. Flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Quickly sit up. Sit in the middle of your mat, Japanese style. If your knees hurt, you can sit Indian style or whatever's comfortable for you. We started with pranayama, deep breathing, good for the lungs and respiratory system. We end with kapalbhati breathing, good for the digestive system and abdominal muscles. You're going to blow out by your mouth. Only exhale. The inhale happens automatically. 
Hands on your knees, elbows locked, spine is straight. Begin. So belly goes in and out. Hard, fast exhales. Inhale happens automatic. You're trying to create a cramp in that abdomen. Shoulders relaxed, arms straight. Then we're going to go a little faster with my clap. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Lick your lips a couple times. Acknowledge yourself, your hard work, and then just go ahead and relax here in your savasana. You can lay however you wish. You can spread your legs. You can spread your arms. Like <laughs> lay on your side, whatever you want. Sometimes I like to lay in Baddha Konasana with my feet together and hips open. Right here in your savasana, Go ahead, close your eyes. Try to relax at least a couple minutes if you can. I'm going to leave you here in your savasana. So I have to go turn the camera off. But thank you so much for joining us. Join us three to four times a day on BikramColumbiaLive.com. Follow us on YouTube. We have two channels, Bikram Yoga Columbia SC and Torch Bar. We're having a special Mommy and Me yoga class this Sunday live on Bikram Columbia Live and also on Instagram at 11.30 a.m. It's going to be me, my two babies, and Jen and her son. So please join us. It'll be a quick class. We know they don't have much of a, an attention span, but we'd love to have you and we'll probably laugh a lot. So um, you guys have a great afternoon, great morning, whatever time of day you're taking this. Thanks for practicing with us and we hope to see you in the hot room again soon. Namaste.